after seeing the New Hampshire results and seeing that I don't have any votes, um, my automatic reaction is I'm crazy. I'm, I must be crazy because I'm kind of, you know, have you ever seen Taylor Swift's music video delicate where she's dancing around and no one sees her and no one knows she's, she exists, but then she's like, why is, why is everyone ignoring me? Um, yeah, that's kind of my life where I think I, I, there was a time where on Twitter people knew who I was like famous people. And now it's like, no one knows who I am. And so I'm sitting here going, does no one know who I am? But then the guy at the bus stop, you snitch in a weird, weird way. I, I just made a list. Then there was the guy who handed me a gun after he told me the story about getting caught with, all these magazines and um, he, he was in trouble for it. And then he handed me a gun. He shot a cap gun. And then there was the time I came home and my door handle was broken after I hung out with this girl who told me about this bust. And then there was the time that I was, I, I threatened to go um, tell everyone how to catch the NSA. Um, and then uh, I was like, you guys need to give me like $800,000 because um, I, I've always not had money that I've, I've had the money I've legally made taken away in like for, for like 10 years. I was like, and, and I couldn't work because I caught them. And I was like, well, now I have this cybersecurity secret because they scared me to death. And so I'm not allowed to work in cybersecurity. So I was like, well, you can either give me money or I'm going to go tell people your secret. And then he told me the NSA doesn't negotiate or the CIA doesn't negotiate with terrorists. And then Django Unchained, I came up with that idea. Uh, and my ex-girlfriend that I came up with, when I came up with the idea, I was dating a girl who was obsessed with Alexander Dumas. And if you watch the music video, or if you watch the, the, the movie, it's weird. And then there was the time when it was my birthday and I was in college and I was alone on my birthday and I was studying and then people saying happy birthday outside of, outside of the building. And then that makes me think that it was just a coincidence or, or I always think that was just coincidence. Maybe it was someone else's birthday. Um, but then it, it's kind of like when I started attacking Bitcoin and I said, um, the Winkle bosses are an enemy of the United States for backing cryptocurrency so much. And then, <clears throat> crypto, and then suddenly Bitcoin and everything else dropped from 20,000 to like 10, like right away, like that, that like within like two days. And so it was like I had an audience and people actually listened to me because I explained Bitcoin is nothing. Um, but it is something because if there's anything that's something, it's Bitcoin. Because B Bitcoin has a long history of use. Like the, the, the value of a Bitcoin is, is, has been exchanged a bunch of times. Um, a lot of the time, um, the value of a, cur of, of a cryptocurrency is about its mining. Like, uh, like everyone that wants to mine cryptocurrency wants to mine an altcoin because they want one that's going to go up because it's easy to mine altcoins. It's hard to m mine Bitcoin. Just like it's hard to mine Monero in a big ass mine. You have to mine Monero on individual computers. Like you can mine Monero at a high school or something at, on all the computers. But okay. So, but, but then that's another reason I think I'm still crazy. Number one, I, I don't have any votes in New Hampshire, but maybe no one voted for me and maybe no one knows who I am in New Hampshire at all. And maybe they really hate drugs, which I'll give money for drug treatment programs, obviously. Um, but I don't know. I'm kind of counting on Vegas still voting for me. I know everyone thinks that black people won't vote for me in Vegas. And I'm like, eh, I don't know. Vegas is kind of a special place. Let's hope that maybe Nevada... I can win it completely. Uh, if I can't, then that's going to be a problem for me. All right. So, how have none of the altcoins crashed? That's what I'm wondering. Because if, if I'm not crazy and people actually listen to me, they're like, okay, all these altcoins are like billion dollar um, Ponzi schemes. And like, eventually you're going to get robbed because think about it. Um, all these, like, like this crypto millionaire that's like, I'm going to go spend $5 million to go have uh, lunch with Warren Buffett. Think, think about, um, uh, uh, that's $5 million out of everyone else's cash pile. 
because what's the value that's actually created? It's there's nothing. It, it's just it's kind of like there's a big ass savings account. We're gonna all have a big ass savings account, but then the miners are gonna take from that savings account, and the person who started the cryptocurrency is really gonna take from that savings account, and then everyone else is not gonna take from the savings account, and that's gonna what that's what's gonna keep the price continuing to go up. I don't know. I, I don't think Bitcoin necessarily is going to get destroyed because I do understand like the idea of shortages. And also I do understand like that that is a currency that is exchanged all the time. I mean, who's the number one Bitcoin owner in the world? Who's the second? I don't know. I mean, I, I probably some people in Asia, probably from like an island country. Um, all right. So I think I'm crazy, but I, I, I know I'm not crazy. It's just everyone has a pain threshold. And have I reached my pain threshold to, that's going to force me to give up? Not quite. But I, I don't really have to face the repercussions for my actions because no one talks to me about all the stupid things I've done, like all these like, super embarrassing things I've done. crazy that I'm not crazy that that's the crazy thing is that, that I'm not crazy like I, like this CIA thing where I like because I don't I we don't negotiate with terrorists and it's like well I'm not a terrorist and I think it's like kind of messed up that I'm not I can't do basic security which back then I didn't fully understand how basic the security thing I was doing was but it's still it's pretty hard like that's the thing I think it's really hard to catch them unless you make incredible effort but the fact that it's like you have to keep that a secret pretty stupid